We need to have safe water wherever we live, work and play. It's not even a question. Having proper water infrastructure is essential for the health and protection of the town of Olds. Municipal water isn't free, it has a cost. And the folks in Olds, Alberta are getting water wise by tracking all the costs involved in the water that flows out of their taps. Full cost accounting, in a nutshell, is making sure that all costs are included, whether it be electricity, labor, equipment, even office supplies are included when we talk about the cost of water. You know, I got a phone call one time from a lady who had her water shut off. She talked about how dare we shut our water off because water's free. I told her, look, our budget is $3 million. That's a long ways from being free. Like every one of our utility customers, every month we get a utility bill from the Regional Water Commission. Once you start to pay for water, you start to understand that there's a cost to water. All municipalities have to pay for the cost of water, one way or the other. So the question becomes, is it paid for by the users or is it subsidized by taxes? Our goal in Olson is to move to a full cost recovery system where the cost of water is paid for by the users of the water. We're almost there. As you can see on the pie chart behind me, the red shows that the operational costs of our utilities do not have a draw on taxation at the moment. Operational costs include a portion of the wages of all those involved in providing the water service. It's all part of our total cost of water. We are covering all of our operating costs. We're not fully funding depreciation or replacement of our capital assets yet, but we're getting there. Covering the amortization of capital costs is a challenge because there's so many different ways to do it. For example, when it comes time to replace the facility, do you pay for it through user fees, through money received from grants, or through debentures? These are some of the decisions that we're going to have to make. As long as we know that we understand the costs, it allows us to make informed decisions. If you don't know how much it costs, then you don't know what it's worth, and then you don't know how much to charge for it. The true cost of water is more than number crunching. It also includes innovative ways of lowering administration costs. Within the last four years, we've uh, replaced all our water meters and uh, with a radio read system in the community, and thereby we've eliminated estimates from our uh, billing system. Mark. I need you to go up here to where they're replacing that water main. I found a service into the building that I'm not too sure if it's hooked up. Okay. Thank you. Before, it used to take us two staff members 10 days to manually read meters in half the town, and we estimated the other half town, not to mention associated costs and data entry. Now, with the radio read system, one staff member takes one day each month to drive through the town and wirelessly collects all the radio readings, and those can be uploaded automatically to our billing system. This screen here shows how much water we're pumping into the community each day. However, we're seeing a gap between what we're being charged from the Regional Water Commission and what we're charging the customers through the radio read system. The town of Olds was facing a very serious water loss problem, upwards of 30% at times. We then turned to an online leak detection system that would monitor the whole infrastructure during the night. We have data log sensors on individual houses that records data and then we're able to upload the information to a website and is able to give us information. Green dots means everything's okay. Red dots means there's something wrong and we need to analyze it further. The blue arrows shows leaks that we've repaired throughout the community. Actually, we are the first community in Western Canada to implement a system like this. Since we first installed the leak detection system, we've repaired over 70 water leaks. This is our new regional wastewater lift station. We will be joining a regional wastewater commission and being charged for every cubic meter of wastewater that flows out. So effectively, if we have unaccounted for water loss, we're being charged double, once when it comes in and once when it comes out. Everyone needs to do their part. It's important that we reduce water use by eliminating as much waste as possible. Since 2006, our population has grown. Our infrastructure has increased but actually our water consumption has decreased. What's important to us is to strive to understand all of the costs of our utilities and then we can make informed decisions on how to fund them. Capturing the true cost of providing the service, reducing the amount of wasted water, and using innovation to reduce costs is part of getting water wise and finding the true cost of water.